everyone, Zeddy here again with yet another Festival Legends card review. You'll never believe it. They revealed more cards that do things and have text on them that I have to read. This will be a challenge, but my god, uh, at least the Shaman Legendary looks absolutely busted in both formats, maybe more so in wild. We'll get into it as well as you want to win some of these cards. We have a giveaway going on. All you have to do is like a comment in the video description below the one we're looking at here. Uh, be subscribed to the channel for every 1000 subs until all cards are revealed. I'm adding another mega bundle to that giveaway. Did I say it's two regular parameters, two mega bundles? I don't know. It goes up to four, five, six, whatever. There's no cap. Hit that sub button. Make me go broke. So let's take a look at the shaman card starting off with Blow Rider, that's another rock reference. Two mana, three, two Naga for Shaman, which has Battlecry. If you are overloaded, discover a spell from your deck. It's not a copy of a spell, so you should draw it. Uh, not like Shadow Visions back in the day. And yeah, you're overloaded. You discover a spell. Discover a spell effects have been typically very good. You just like drawing those cards out of your deck, Spe especially, we talked about it, tutoring cards, right? Baroken just seems like a serviceable card though. Like you're playing Overload Shaman, which it looks like you're probably gonna wanna do. You're, you're probably gonna wanna run some Overload cards um, because they're kind of gonna be a little bit broken or at least a lot cheaper. Uh, again, we'll get to it. I think this card's solid. I don't think it's amazing or anything like that, but you're playing any decent amount of Overload cards. Uh, it's a solid, solid card. I'll give it a three out of five in standard, maybe even in wild. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of Spirit of the Frog shenanigans there. And I don't know if you're gonna really run Flow Rider, but maybe. And the overload quest, which is rotating to wild, will only be in wild. Again, I'll give it a three across the board. It's a good card. Premium stats, tribe, discover something specific from your deck. And I'm giving it a three. Maybe I should give it a four, but I'm a stickler and I'm sticking to the three. Uh, next, we have the Jazz Bass. Bass? Bass? I want to say bass, even though I know it's bass. It's a musical themed thing. But we're going to stick with it. Uh, three minute, two, two weapon. So terrible. Death Rattle. Your next spell costs one less. So you get to discount the spell. However, there's more. Overload while equipped to improve. So every time you overload, it'll cost two less, three less, four less, five less. You could play this on that like criminal lineup card, that eight mana one. Make it like zero and maybe do like an OTK. There are some serious implications to this card, but it will only discount a spell so you can maybe target it a little bit more. It's not going to hit a minion, weapon, hero card, whatever it is. Um, and you got to play a bunch of overload cards to get this going. But we have the new tutor in the game that draws your specific weapon like a jazz bass base, whatever you call it. Anything that says cost less and isn't capped scares the crap out of me. And we're getting a lot more mana cheat this expansion. We saw it with the, the rogue weapon that refreshes mana. We're seeing it with this. We're going to see it in a card in a second. I can't say this card's going to be unplayable because you never know. A card like criminal lineup can be awfully scary, right? Make that cost a lot less. I'm going to give it a three, a three out of, man, I feel like it's going to be like, I'm going to look back at this. It's going to be like the warlock weapon uh, that just going to wild room mythical water. It's going to be something just disgusting, but it's only one spell. Actually, it's just your next. It, do it doesn't hit randomly, right? It's just your next. It doesn't hit something. So you can specifically set this up. That makes it so much better. Did I think it would target randomly? Me and reading don't go hand to hand. Regardless, I'm actually going to give this a four to five in standard I don't know about wild. Like, is it like you can do a comp? This enables so many broken combos or just, you know, just ridiculous things. I'm going to four to five in standard wild. I think the card's ridiculous. It's mass mana cheat, honestly. Like, just what it can do as long as you're playing overload cards, which you're going to want to do, just seems kind of nuts. I'm going to give it a four to five in standard wild. I don't like the design of the card, by the way. I'm, I'm so sick of mana cheat at this point, but. I'm going to rate it highly because I think, yeah, it's probably pretty good. We've already reviewed this card, so let's skip to Altered Chord, a five mana nature spell, Lifesteal. So it's got a Lifesteal on it. Deal five damage to a minion. So it's like that blood spell for death fight, but way worse. One mana more, one less damage. However, it costs three less, more mana cheat if you're overloaded. So your overload, it's two mana deal five or if this has been discounted further it could be one or zero mana which again we'll look at more mana cheat lifesteal again this is, makes it like okay well I, I have to take the mana hit of being overloaded but i save three mana on this i'm gonna give this a four to five in standard wild too like all this overload stuff just seems kind of nuts 
and like yeah you're guaranteed insane mana cheat on top of it so another uh really scary card really good card like that's a lot of healing you you scale it with some spell damage you can't get spell damage totem anymore but yeah overall a uh, really scary card did i rate it already i think i did but uh, yeah i'll give it a four to five standard wild looks really powerful and uh my god this is a lot of mana cheat in just one st set of cards here and there's going to be more next we have the pack the house a shaman spell seven mana summon the six five four and three cost minion you're getting four minions at random they're they're just random overload too so if you're overloaded you could discount that spell and play it for two or three or two or one or zero whatever right so um yeah this kind of works with that but again you're probably playing cheaper overload cards but there are ways to discount this out well we're leaving the best for last by the way the legendary um and yeah you're getting what 11 uh what 11 plus 4 is 15 was it 18 mana i think i think i did the math right 18 mana worth of minions for seven but obviously you can get crappy battle cries you could get something insane you could omega roll right and get some really good stuff you can evolve it you know there's still the evolved stuff going on so you got like one of these minions sucks and you evolve them so you're getting a huge stat bomb uh you're getting overload synergies I don't think you're it's and you could discount it with the weapon of course but i feel like there's gonna be more broken stuff with the weapon than this but still you can probably cheat this out pretty reliably i'll give it an optimistic three to five in standard i don't think this is playing wild i give it to two there especially like tiny toys and all that i think that's rotating could be wrong on that but still regardless like the the absolute impact of the board impact this can have the fact you can cheat it out is a little bit scary and well i've been alluding to it I've been alluding to it, the thumbnails there, the titles there, and the Shaman Legendary. We are getting Inza. We just got the uh, skin for it. A five mana, five, five. So Emperor Thoris in stats, I, I'm comparing to Emperor, by the way, because Battlecry, for the rest of the game, your overload cards cost one less. So that's anything discovered, I'm imagining. It just says any overload. It doesn't say the ones in your deck, in your hand, just all overload cards. So even if you generate something, right? it's one less and all of a sudden that is mass mana cheat across your hand your board or not your board how does that work your hand your deck your generation and yeah this card is all of a sudden six mana you bat you you macaw this although that's rotating to wild thank goodness uh it stacks there which makes this really scary and wild on top of like you already have like spear of the frog overload shaman which is really close to being good you get an extra mana cheat on all those cards just ridiculous but honestly five mana that 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 deck might be too slow but i just think this is just such a ridiculous card we all know how good like like encanter's flow was like make all your spells cost one less and all that but it is attached to a legendary it is five mana although Th emperor thorson was six and only hit your hand but all cards i still think it's a busted scary card and we're looking at like all these other overload cards it makes things a little bit even scarier in that, all of that so I am, I, I'm not going to give it a five. I do, it, I could be, it could be totally overrated. It's one of those where the, the effect, you just see it on paper. It looks broken. It looks busted, but in standard and wild, I will give it a four to five. I'm going to give it a four to five. I think it's really powerful. It's really scary. And in like duels where you have that hero power that like locks out overload, you could just even have more like ridiculous things like in duels. It's pretty scary. So yeah, um, Shaman's getting some really good stuff. Shaman looks really bad right now. There's more Shaman cards to be revealed, but these to me at least look really good. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Later on, we have Rogue cards and Warlock cards. I'll have either one or two more reviews for you later today. So stay tuned, enter that giveaway if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. We'll see you in a little bit anyways. Uh, stay salty, my friends.